PIX11 News has been with you since the beginning, telling your stories every day for three months now. Cold, shaking. From the Bronx to Brooklyn to Staten Island to Queens, our stories brought the heat and hot water to 55 buildings across the city and got the attention of Governor Andrew Cuomo, who now wants to file a state of emergency. He says it will open up the money and get the repairs done faster. Is this a turning point for families watching live? Is this a turning point for them? Well, first, uh, let me applaud PIX11 for your coverage. Journalism at its, at its best exposes a problem. Uh, and then the way I see it, uh, government and responsible leadership responds. And you've done a great job exposing the problem. After watching all of our stories of your suffering and you telling your stories live on Facebook at our town hall in Harlem and our Monica Makes It Happen show Thursdays at 11 a.m. We're glad you're here. Good to see you. No, it's good to be here. PIX11 News was asked to tour the Jackson houses with the governor today. Have you been watching all of our coverage and seeing all of our reports? Yes, yes I have. And they've been very impactful uh, and I applaud you. First, we went to the kitchen, where there were cockroaches all over the cabinets. Roaches everywhere. Heartbreak. Then the bathroom had mold, like so many of the bathrooms we visited for months now. Toxic. Why was it important for you to see it yourself? Why was it important for you to come up here yourself and see this? Well, the residents have been complaining for a long time. Uh, obviously, you've your coverage. Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. and Councilmember Richie Torres were also there. We're indebted to you, Monica. You have been at the forefront of telling the stories of public housing residents. We want to thank you for all the coverage that you put on the crisis. Many have blamed the public housing crisis on the mayor and the chair of NYCHA, Shola Olatoye. Where is the mayor? Why isn't he here? I don't know. I don't know. You'd have to ask him. The governor will also ask for a tenant-led oversight committee. All this happening when the mayor is out of town today. The city had their own press conference today at City Hall, striking the governor back. When will we hear from the mayor? When will he be back? And will he tour with us some of these NYCHA apartments and tell us that this will be fixed now? It's not a state of emergency. It's 200 million. It is a state it, of emergency. No, 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 no. It is not declaring a state of emergency. It's taking action on 200 million dollars. We are ready. We have a list. We're ready to start the work if he's prepared to release the money. And our mission at PIX11 is to give you a voice every single day. And it seems like the city and state are listening. We're making it happen. And if you have a story, reach out to us on Facebook at Monica Morales TV. That's Monica Morales TV. We could be in your neighborhood next at City Hall.